before we start, do not forget to share, like, and subscribe to my channel. Also hit the notification bell for more video updates. Good day everyone! Today, we will going to discuss about the nature and background of dual sports, specifically badminton and table tennis. The hand is one of the most symbolized part of the human body. It is often used to depict skill, action, and purpose. Through our hands, we may learn, create, and accomplish. Hence, the hand in this learning resource signifies that you as a learner is capable and empowered to successfully achieve the relevant competencies and skills at your own pace and time. Your academic success lies in your own hands. This lesson was designed to provide you with fun and meaningful opportunities or guided in independent learning at your own pace and time. You will be enabled to process the content of learning resource while being an active learner. Before we move on to our lesson, let us answer first the following activities. The first part is true or false. The direction is, if the statement is correct, write true after the number, and write false if the statement is wrong. Get your pen and paper and understand the statement very carefully. Number 1. The badminton game started to become popular at a small town in India. True or false? Number 2. Pen hold grip is commonly used in badminton. Is it true or false? Number 3. Matches for table tennis include singles, doubles, and mixed doubles. Is it true or false? Number 4. The playing court in badminton used for singles and love balls is the same in terms of length and width. Is it true or false? And number 5. Table tennis is also known as ping pong. Is it true or false? The second part of our activity is identification. Direction, identify whether the sport is individual, dual, or a team sports. Number one, harness. Individual sports, dual sports, or team sports. Number two, badminton. Individual sport, dual sports, or team sports. Number three, basketball. Individual sports, dual sports, or team sports. Number 4. Gymnastics. Is it individual sports, dual sports, or team sports? Number 5. Running. Individual sports, dual sports, or team sports?
Number six, swimming. Is it individual sports, dual sports, or team sports? Number seven, table tennis. Individual sports, dual sports, or team sports? Number 8, Taekwondo. Is it individual sports, dual sports, or team sports? Number 9, Tennis. Is it individual sports, dual sports, or team sports? And number 10, last number, Volleyball. Is it individual sports, dual sports, or team sports? What I need to know, sports participation may be due to many different reasons. Whatever your reasons are for engaging in or being interested in sports, sports bring along numerous benefits especially to your health. These benefits cannot be overemphasized or the benefits of sports participation go a long way. When you become serious about your health, you can progress from just plain sports participation to more complex and entailed involvement. More complex and detailed involvement refers to a more serious take on sports participation by considering more than just playing sports and learning the necessary skills. After this lesson, you should be able to describe the nature and background of dual sports. Specifically, you are expected to trace the history of badminton and table tennis, the row and label the playing court of badminton and table tennis, and appreciate the importance of learning the dual sports in attaining a healthy lifestyle. So gear up and get ready, be involved in dual sports. History of Badminton In 17th century, badminton is believed to have originated from the game Puna that was played by English army officers stationed in a small town in India. At this point, badminton was just a game played for fun. It was known as battle door and shuttlecock in British India instead of badminton. Bottle door and shuttlecock were then brought back to England in 1870 when the Duke of Beaufort held a lone party in his country place. Interestingly, the house was called Badminton and was then introduced to the upper class community. It was only in 1992 Barcelona Olympics when the game became an Olympic sport. Now let's take a look at the nature of badminton. The aim of the game is the score by landing the shuttlecock in the opponent's court. Matches from badminton include singles, doubles, and mixed doubles. The court used for singles and doubles vary in terms of length and width. The singles court is slightly narrower but longer than double score. The game is governed by the Badminton World Federation or the BWF. 
Now let us identify the facilities and equipment used in badminton. First is badminton court. The badminton court is rectangular and divided into hubs by a net. Courts are usually marked for both singles and doubles play. The doubles court is wider than the singles court but both are of the same length. The exception, which often causes confusion to new players, is that the doubles court has a shorter serve length dimension. Next is badminton net. The badminton net is the central gameplay element in the game of badminton, requiring players to return the shuttlecock from the one side of the court to the other during the match. Made taut by the use of weighted tension poles on the outside edges of the badminton court, the badminton net is allowed to sag slightly in the center of the span. Unlike other sport nets that required poles to be installed permanently, badminton nets are open and mobile and can be moved and set up quickly when ready for play. Variations of badminton net come in polyethylene, nylon, and vinyl. Shuttlecock A badminton shuttlecock, also called a bird or a birdie, is a high-drag projectile used in the sport of badminton. The open conical shape is formed by feathers or a synthetic alternative and embedded into a rounded cork or a rubber base. Synthetic shuttlecocks are referred to as plastics and feathered shuttlecocks are called feathers. There are 16 or so overlapping feathers and it is preferable to use feathers from right or left wings and to not mix feathers from different wings. This shape makes the shuttlecock aerodynamically stable and regardless of the initial orientation, the shuttlecock will turn to fly cork first. Last is badminton racket. The badminton racket is a piece of sports equipment that has a handled frame with an open hook with a network of strings stretched tightly. It is used to strike a shuttlecock in badminton mat. Modern rackets are made of carbon fiber composite, which is stiff, has a good strength to weight ratio, and gives good kinetic energy transfer. Prior to the use of carbon fiber composite, badminton rackets were made of wood. While a badminton racket's size and shapes are limited by standards, there is a wide variety of racket designs and different rackets have playing characteristics that appeal to different players. Okay, now let's move on to the two kinds of grips in badminton. Number one is forehand grip. Forehand grip is also known as the handshake grip. The thumb and the pointing fingers wrap around the handle forming a letter V while the rest of the fingers are spread supporting the bottom part of the handle. The grip is used to hit the shuttle at the dominant side of the body and sometimes at the non-dominant or non-leading side overhead. Next is backhand grip. Backhand is used to hit the shuttle at the non-dominant side of the body. From the forehand grip position, the fingers are moved slightly to place the thumb pressing flat on the flat side of the handle while the rest of the fingers are positioned together. The grip adds power to the strokes or hits since usually the non-dominant side of the player is the weaker hitting side. Those are the facilities and equipment used in badminton. We have net, racket, shuttlecock, and court. Now, let us discuss about the history of another dual sport, table tennis. Table tennis began in the 1880s in England when lone tennis players adapted their game to play indoors during the winter.
Ping Pong is a brand name for table tennis and associated equipment. The name Ping Pong was invented by the English firm J. Jack and Son at the end of 1800s and later the trademark in the United States by Parker Brothers, the board game company. The Ping Pong Association was formed but was renamed the Table Tennis Association in 1922. In 1902, a visiting Japanese university professor took the game back to Japan where he introduced it to university students. Shortly after, British salesman Edward Shires introduced it to the people of Vienna and Budapest and it gained popularity all over the world. The first world championships were held in 1927 and were won by a Hungarian Dr. Jacobi. Table tennis became an Olympic sport in 1988 with singles and doubles competition for men and women. Now let's take a look at the nature of the sport. Table tennis, also known as ping pong, a game similar to lone tennis and played on a flat table divided into two equal courts by a net fixed across its widths at the middle. The object is to hit the ball so that it goes over the net and bounces on the opponent's half of the table in such a way that the opponents cannot reach it or return it correctly. A match consists of the best of any odd numbers of the games, each game being won by the player who first reaches 11 points or who, after 10 points each, wins 2 clear points ahead. Matches for table tennis include singles, doubles, and mixed doubles. The rules of play, serve, and receive are different for singles and doubles. Alternate service received and hits are followed for doubles. The ITTF or International Table Tennis Federation governs the sport. Now let us identify the facilities and equipment used in table tennis. First is the table and net. Table tennis tables are regulated playing surfaces designed specifically for the game of table tennis or ping pong. Tables can be constructed out of a variety of materials ranging from common designs using plywood and or a particle board to more exotic variant made of concrete, metal, plastic or fiberglass. A table tennis net serves as an important role in a game of ping pong. Designating the demarcation between the two opposing courts, this table tennis essential guarantees that all strokes are viable and legal based on the IT-EF rules. Next is table tennis rockets. Ping pong paddles or table tennis rockets are laminated rubber sponge covered wooden rockets comprised of a blade and a handle. The ping pong blade refers to the upper wooden portion of the racket that is built up with 1 to 7 layers of wood, cork, glass fiber, carbon fiber, aluminum fiber, and Kevlar customized for various play styles. Last is the table tennis ball. Table tennis balls or ping pong balls are spherical polymer balls fabricated specifically for the sport. Ping pong balls are colored as either white or orange depending on the table surface and game style. White balls are official tournament balls and pair well with blue and green tables, while orange balls are used for casual games as they are easier to see in the most settings. Table tennis balls are rated with a star system to denote quality. One star being the softest and easiest to break 
while three stars is the most durable and approved for the tournament play. Like badminton, table tennis also has two kinds of grips, the forehand grip and the backhand grip. Forehand grip is done by placing the thumb and pointing fingers on opposite sides of the blade at the top of the handle. The rest of the fingers are wrapped around the handle. Next is backhand grip. Backhand grip is done by placing the thumb and pointing fingers on the table as if they are holding a pen. The middle finger rests on the opposite side together with the rest of the fingers. So those are the facilities and equipment used in table tennis, the table and net, the ping pong racket, and the ping pong ball. So those are the examples of dual sports, badminton, and table tennis. Before we end our lesson, please answer this question in the comment box below. What is the importance of engaging in dual sports in attaining a healthy lifestyle? Okay, that's all for today. Have a good day. God bless.